Okay, thanks. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to go through the um, reduction and then I'll take the. Uh, I'm just going to use the prototype of Skiffy as being a uh, can impingement, and there's a role to play for open reduction. So these are just slides that show what Varina has already showed us with a cam impingement. And so there, there's a case to be made for uh, a great reduction to minimize some of the complications she talked about. Um, these are just anatomic studies that you know are well documented with the skiffy, post skiffy cam impingement kind of model. And that can be measured radiographically with the alpha angle, either on a done 45 degree lateral view or on MRI greater than 55 degrees is considered to be abnormal and skiffy easily fits into this uh, most of the time. So as Verena was saying, you know, her um, osteotomy was in the trochanteric, subtrochanteric area. I'm gonna be talking about the subcapital uh, osteotomy, which is up high. Um, the advantage is obviously it's going to correct the deformity. It's the best possible area to do it to correct the deformity uh, to a large extent. It restores the femoral head contour, preventing the FAI and secondary arthritis, but it's a little bit like orthopedic roulette, potential for EVN, need to monitor for the blood supply to the femoral head during the procedure. Uh, the timing is controversial. Uh, it's done in major centers that have a lot of experience in hip surgery, sometimes it's a two surgeon technique. Uh, you're gonna end up uh, pinning the femoral head prior to the surgical hip dislocation, resecting the posterior callus, shortening the neck to avoid tension on the repair, and then retrograde wires and then play screws for the touchdown we've been for three months. So people are familiar with the surgical hip dislocation. So the approach is made, but before from that trochanteric flip, you would pin the skiffy um, and then uh, develop the intervals um, between um, the gluteus minimus and the uh, piriformis and the Z, the Z, you know, capsulotomy, and then dislocating the hip. As you know, it, it's a great procedure to give you a 350, but prior to actually dislocating the hip, there is a, a retinacular flap that I'm gonna show you in a second that's developed to protect the blood supply to the uh, epiphysis. So this is a good slide to show you as you're coming in um, the slip at the top, uh, the tension on the blood vessels posteriorly, uh, what you have to resect in terms of the callus to shorten this in order to reduce the epiphysis back on the, um, on the remainder of the femoral neck. So this is a technique uh, which, in, which involves a retinacular flap. Uh, you're going to develop a flap that has some of the external rotators and also the periosteum. Obviously, the thicker the periosteum, the safer the technique. So it's a very meticulous procedure uh, that requires quite a bit of training. Um, screws versus pins. Uh, I think in North America, we like to use the screws. In Europe, uh, the pins. I think there's something to be said for the pins. Uh, as, as you know, some of these cantilated screws can be pretty large and uh, take up a lot of uh, volume. So um, but it's dealer's choice ultimately. Uh, usually the trochanteric piece is, fi is fixed with screws, as you know. Um, at the completion of the surgery, a loose capsular closure and either three, five, or four, five screws for the uh, reapproximation of the uh, trochanteric wafer. And then the post office course is listed above. This is an example of the skiffy that's being pinned before. It gets ultimately dislocated. Obviously, yeah, that's an extra step that you don't usually do with a surgical hip dislocation. A couple of papers, uh, restoration of blood flow uh, to epiphysis and unstable skiffies during the done. Um, so the ICP monitor or the uh, arterial line technique is a safe method uh, for a real-time assessment of the blood flow. Um, they were able to demonstrate blood flow restoration in four patients, five with the ICP monitor. And the presence of a blood flow by ICP is not a guarantee that AVN will not develop, but if there have absence of blood flow in that study, it was pretty predictive of AVN. Here's a couple of cases before and after. So it looks really slick, obviously, but what you don't see is the attention to details and the training behind this. This is the lateral view tier, two years later, a great result. And that was for more of a 
acute stable. This is a severe stable that was pinned initially and then subsequently um, underwent um, surgical sort of dislocation, retinacular flap, modified done. Last case here. So it can be used for the sequelae of Skiffy as well. So a couple of papers here at the end as I'm concluding. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm going to start with some early studies, 2007. Uh, even minor slips can produce cartilage damage, OK? Um, you have to protect the blood supply uh, to the epiphysis using that soft tissue flap, which that's the key part of the surgery, in my opinion. Um, it allows you to mobilize the epiphysis while preserving the blood supply to the uh, epiphysis and then uh, really doing a good job to resect the callus. Whether you do this with uh, stable or unstable, uh, mild or, or severe, it's usually reserved for the severe cases, obviously. Texas Scottish Rite in pediatrics was one of the first cases in North America to present their studies. Uh, obviously, already at that time, AVN is, is the big uh, issue with this uh, technique. Uh, other issues become uh, breakage of screws. So um, it is a factor. Um, somehow in Europe, they're usually able to use like the wires. There's, there's no, it's not that to say there's no problems with the wires, but um, either way, there can be some implant uh, failures. Um, Zbart summarized the uh, Gons' study. As you know, Gons and uh, Germany is, is a big pioneer of this procedure, and they were able to show a very low complication rate. And then it came to North America and uh, this is another study from, from uh, Germany here at Tanas and Sieben Rock most recently in 2019, 46 hips, um, only 7% implant revision, AVN in their hands, 5%. But these are masters of surgery in those centers with like decades of experience with this, low risk of uh, progression of OA, uh, high functional scores, which is really nice. And then contrast that with uh, a multi-center study in Argentina in 2019, 21 hips, and I'll have you focus on six patients with complete osteonecrosis, four with partial uh, variations in outcome, big learning curve. So that's kind of what we're hearing uh, over the years here in North America as well. Um, uh, last couple of slides here, modified done versus inadvertent reduction in pinning for unstable skiffies. I was studied by in North America by Nova and all, and um, Morphology of the femoral head and neck was improved and modified done. Obviously, I just tried to make the point of that. The proportion of osteonecrosis in their study was similar, unplanned reoperations similar in both groups. So that's kind of encouraging. Again, major centers for hip surgery. And then uh, just to contrast with Verena, the triplanar osteotomy versus the modified done was looked at in San Diego where Dr. Pring practices a 12 tree with the uh, osteotomy, 14 with the modified done. Surgical time was shorter for the uh, osteotomy, uh, the uh, Southwick or triplanar osteotomy. Radiogra radiographic measures were similar in both groups, although with a slightly uh, uh, less, the neck shaft angle was the only difference they had in both groups is decreasing the um, triplanar osteotomy. There's no cases of femoral head AVN in the uh, triplanar, which is a huge part. The modified done group had a 29% AVN, so San Diego, Children's is also a major hip center and then their results were 29%. So uh, the reoperation rate was slightly greater in the uh, triplanar group. So just to say that AVN can be a devastating complication leading to early hip replacement and they advised against the done procedure in stable skiffies, reserving it mainly for the unstable uh, severe skiffies. And with that, I will conclude my talk. Thank you.